fellow Sierra Leoneans, we are better off with peace than the glorification of hating one another. It is with this opening I want to welcome you all to the 12th edition of Coast, the anti Here Here live on Multimedia Plus online television and our Facebook page, the anti Academy. I am your host, Augustin Martin Martinez. <laughs> In today's edition, the topic is public speaking for personal growth. And I'm having a very fine, young, and beautiful woman. She is a social media consultant, a writer, and a publisher. She is also an event host and also a body activist. She is Madam Precious Jotoka. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Um, this is Quash at the anti Here Here live on Multimedia Plus online television and of course our Facebook page at the anti Academy. Our topic for today's discussion is um, why public speaking should be utilized for personal growth. Public speaking for personal growth. That is why I'm having Madam Precious here. Thank you so much once again. It's a pleasure. So as the topic implies, yeah. public speaking for personal growth. Why do you think public speaking should be utilized for personal growth? Um, public speaking is very important because um, one, we all have to boost our confidence. Okay. So with public speaking, it helps us boost our confidence. And one way or the other, we are all going to be involved in our different career, different fields. So it helps, it plays its effectiveness in helping us to be, as in, let's say you go for an interview, Okay. How you deliver can okay. even though someone has better qualifications than you, okay. but how you deliver yourself during the interview can help you, okay. which is relating because public speaking as a whole is like a it's a face to face communication okay. with a group of people or a personal person. Okay. So public speaking helps in self confidence, leadership skills, okay. and it helps you to go personally. Okay. Personal okay. Which means um, you can utilize public speaking to accomplish your goals. Yeah. Through public speaking, you accomplish a lot of things, as you just said. That with public speaking, there are a lot of things you will benefit when it comes to confidence, when it comes to boosting your career advancement, your personal, your professional networks, and the rest of it all. And also, again, taking it to cognizant that public speaking it is a very important skill that each and every human being um, should earn yeah. or attain. And um, what are some of the things you, you think people can, can can accomplish through the use of public speaking? Okay, first of all, boosting up your confidence. Okay. The fact that you can face a small group to talk simply means you can face a larger pe a group to talk. Okay. Um, it helps you to expand your network. Okay. Career wise, okay. we go to different business meetings. Okay. After every business and uh, seminars, mm. we have this to me out networking. Okay. If I'm a shy person, I can't face someone, I'll be there. I can come meet you now and talk with you. It helps me. Okay, fine, I have a contract. I recommend you. It helps you create a better better playing ground. Okay. I always like to use the word with for business as a playing ground. Okay. Because it's it's a game, depending okay. on how you're playing. Mm -hmm. So it helps you in creating a better okay. a business playing ground to meet more people, okay. help you even to for leadership positions. Some people want to aspire for political um appointments okay with those appointments you have to talk you have to communicate with the people you have to be able to persuade them mm -hmm. um this there's this popular um, quote i like um from mark twain okay it said that in this world there are two speakers okay the nervous speakers and the liar and okay. mostly the liars always win okay <laughs> okay interesting interesting as we get along the discussion the topic is public speaking for for personal growth how can you utilize public speaking for your personal growth? She just mentioned that you can utilize public speaking um, to boost your confidence. If you're not confident in life, you will never attain some of the success or some of the goals you're yearning for so far. So that is why you need to work. You need to increase or you need to improve on your or, 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 of your public speaking um, skills in order for you to attain some of the success you are actually craving for. Now, you just mentioned nervousness. Nervousness is something that has been affecting some of our people out there. Yeah. Thinking that, oh, I don't think I'll do public speaking because whenever I think of public speaking, I got nervous. As, as an individual who have been into the field of public speaking before and still into it, you have, um, I, I get to understand that you have been emceeing programs. Yeah. Yes, and some other public speaking platforms you have participated in. Yeah. Have you ever faced a nervousness? And how, and how do you, do you, do you navigate it. such a thing? 
first of all, I can tell you for free, whenever I take up a new event, whenever I, um, I'm on the stage, the first three minutes, I always get that nervousness. Okay. It comes, no matter how, how many times you've been on that stage, stage. Okay. whenever you go there, first of all, it's a different set of crowd. Yes, your audience, audience also matters. matters a lot. So it's a different set of audience, different set of events. So when you, I get there three minutes, like, hey, hello, I am MCP the Fixer. I'm here to make. I just get that nervousness. So by the time I just look at the crowd, I'm like, come, let's go. Focus on someone. It's always, I like that some people in the crowd will give you that smile. Surely. Focus your energy on that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even need to look at the crowd. You just need to tell yourself, I can do this. So in most cases, when I. In my, I've been in an event, right, and I had everybody in the event who was was a corporate event. Okay. MDs, old MBs, that okay. kind of things, top um, ministers and all that. So, in an event like that, I was now was like, hey, I don't want to come and say the wrong word, say the um, wrong tense and all that. When I got there, I was like, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I am Precious Jatorka. And then, the numbers I paused, like, you guys are all looking beautiful. Everybody smile. That has just changed the atmosphere, okay. and the smile just gave me a confidence that I can do this. Good. And then okay. that's how I overcome it. Okay. In my previous edition, I did mention that um, nervousness is something very much normal for each and human, every human being. As people do face some psychological reactions, such as you have a pounding heart, elevated heartbeat, mm -hmm. you have a sweaty palms. These are all things that are very much normal. But she's an MC. She has been um, um, actually chairing programs, a um, couple of programs around the country. Yeah. And she just mentioned that she do face nervousness. But as a speaker, there's a way you can navigate show. And she just mentioned that you have to take your time. Sometimes give yourself the confidence you know, Tell yourself that you can do it. And you know, just cheer yourself from that point and start to flow. It is very much obvious that nervousness will come. But as a speaker, what makes you stand tall is when actually you, you develop that self-confidence in yourself and trust yourself that you can do it. She said she can do it and she did it. So you yeah. see? which means each and every one of you out there can do it. So as we proceed fast forward, public speaking has been um, a fiasco in many facets of society. There are a lot of people who fear public speaking, think yeah. that oh, whenever I think of public speaking, I will get myself embarrassed. Or you already mentioned that I will say wrong thing and people will laugh at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now thinking about personal growth, if you're thinking about personal growth, you don't need to think about all the challenges or the odds you get to face. But think about the end results at the ending of it. So now, um, Madam, Madam Precious, thinking that public speaking should be, should be utilized as a, as a means or tools to, to what to boost personal growth or to help you out in your personal growth. What are some of the things you have accomplished as an individual through the means of public speaking? Oh. First of all, um, the job I do okay. is representing people. Okay. So I represent Kindo Amani. Okay. I represent um, Victor Oni Williams. Okay. I sometimes represent um, Michelle okay. of AYV. Okay. So public speaking, I'm meeting people who I haven't met before, okay. and I have to tell you, I have to market, I have to tell you, these people, this, I have to be persuasive. Okay. Kindo can deliver this. You need to sign Kindo. Okay. Kindo is good for your brand. Okay. Okay. It's part of public speaking. Okay. They give me a deal. Kindo has a deal. We both go home smiling. So it has helped me in all of my job as a, I was a radio and TV presenter okay. before. Okay. I just left that field okay. and have been in the marketing field. Okay. And as an MC, because of what I do, this helps me give me more clients and more okay. money and I'm smiling, my account is smiling and we're all good. Which means because of public speaking skills, yeah. she, she has able actually to what to boost her personal bank account. She <laughs> yes. has mentioned that to <laughs> And obviously she has been utilizing public speaking skills to what? To earn herself personal growth, meeting different people, networking yeah. and also uh, improving her life to be precise. She has been a presenter, a reporter, all of these things what encompasses the utilization of public speaking. So which means you need public speaking in your life more for personal growth. It is very much important. Now, taking into cognizance again that um, public speaking, I, if I could say, is the only means in order for people to succeed in life. Because at the end of the day, whatever field you find yourself, be it in art faculty, be it in business faculty or science, you need public speaking because yeah. at the end of the day, as a lawyer, you need to what? You need to judge, you need to do some basic lawyer stuff out there, right? As an accountant, there are some accounting stuff you were doing and you have to communicate to the general populace it's all of these are done through the means of public speaking as well there are certain people out there who think oh, i don't need public speaking at all because public speaking is not my thing or i don't have anything to do with public speaking but taking it to come that after after becoming a father now or mother there will come a time when your child will get married 
and the speech is expected of you to give a toast. How are you gonna do it? Which means, no matter how you do, you will never um, escape from public speaking because you need public speaking to boost your personal growth as well. There are a lot of things people accomplish um, through the means of public speaking. You just mentioned that you boost a bank account and some other things and raise a bit more. What are some of the basic techniques you do utilize as a speaker or as an MC whenever you're giving um, a public speech? Well, or so? know your audience. Okay. It's a very good thing. Know your audience. When you know your, the kind of audience you have, it helps you flow. Okay. And also, there's the, um, there's a thing of thought. Mm. When you actually, some people think it's very important to, um, to when you make a mistake, okay. you correct yourself there. But sometimes okay. it's not so important. Okay. When you saw that, like for example, I want to say accomplish, and I, I, I forgot the word, like accomplish, um, accom, eh, okay. accom, it's so wrong. Okay. You said accomplish, just jump to something else and continue. Okay. People make mistakes and people understand it's a mistake. Okay. So if you bent on, say you have to correct yourself before you move to the next step, Fine. then you're going to be stuck there and everybody will now notice that you made a mistake. Okay. Two, okay. so, um, Know your audience, um, always try to move forward from your mistakes and always try to be relaxed. Okay. Relax. Relax couple self-confidence and all of that. Feel free. We are all human as in okay. what am I always gonna say? And before you deliver anything, because public speaking is not just about entertainment and not about things. Okay. You as an accountant, you deal with clients, you have okay. to communicate with them, customer care. Okay. Okay. Talk to them. Okay. So public speaking has the passion. You have to, the compassion. You have to be okay. when delivering um, presentation. Okay. You have to know the keywords, how to repeat them, how to mention them. What like? Okay. This is going to make your brand big. It's going to make your brand big. You emphasize on big okay. because that's the mark. That's a certain point. point. Okay. It's all about communication, critical thinking. Okay. You have to be creative with your thoughts. Okay. It helps you. Okay. A lot. You need public speaking more than anything sure. in this art to um, better yourself, your society, or the world at large. So now you have been doing MC for quite a long time now. Yeah. yeah? And which means you are well much experienced in, in doing MC. Yeah. There are, there are a lot of people out there who want to become an MC or who have been admiring you so for doing an MC today, mm -hmm. doing MC stuff. Say, is there any basic secrets in becoming a successful MC as you are? Well, you see, some of us are gifted in different kind of ways. Me, I'm gifted with my mouth. Okay. I can sell anything. I can even sell myself. <laughs> I think it's for my mom. My mom okay. can see this. We all see this is sky blue. Okay. Blue. Okay. She can tell you that this is yellow. Ooh. And you will look at this and say, so I'm wearing yellow, but I'm seeing blue. So it all has to be with who you are. Some people are natural gifts. Okay. But if you want to be a professional MC and you feel you're not gifted, but you love the thing, okay. Just so many ways you go on YouTube, watch videos of, of okay. MC or international okay. or international platforms. Watch, try to learn more about you. Google is everything. It's okay. just and okay. it's a use technology. Make very good use of it. Okay. Search about those things. Learn, practice at home, and okay. then I think then try to be more sarcastic. Okay. Sarcasm is very good when you want to be an MC okay. because sometimes people just say something and be like, ask the comedians. They can tell you. Okay, interesting. Interesting. It has been very much um, a fruitful discussion. The topic is public speaking for personal growth. Now, I'm um, having a very last question now, then we can draw the recordings of this edition. Okay. Yes. Now, you have been a successful MC or public speaker to be precise. Yeah. There are a lot of people out there who are struggling with the fear of public speaking, which is um, also known as glossophobia. Okay. Yeah? So, as a successful individual in the field of public speaking or MC to be precise, what would be your advice to the general populace? Okay. when it's come to public speaking? First of all, I think uh, my advice I'll give to anybody listening to this, try to come out of your comfort zone. Okay. If you say you're going to be in your comfort zone to be a very good public speaker, then I'm sure that will not be a success. Okay. Try to be creative. Try to think out of the box. Okay. Try not to take life too serious because some people take life too serious okay. and, and when if I come, I'm like, some people just get tired of listening but just try to be you it comes naturally and try to also research okay i research a lot research okay. help and also there's very good thing learn from others there's nothing um i learn from people like phoebe okay. we all know phoebe one of the top female mc and she's my friend i learn a lot from her we discuss this thing so it's always there 
okay. and you should always believe in yourself develop self-confidence okay. and then you can do anything okay thank you so much that's been a great pleasure having you here today yeah. but before we go i must remind the viewers or listeners out there that madam precious jay i'm um, just celebrated about the yesterday and of course we want to wish you a happy birthday feel a lot of blessings thank and you love. okay so this is how we are going to draw down the curtains of this edition of coast the anti glossophobia here live on multimedia plus online television and the anti glossophobia academy facebook page thank you so much for being us and stay glued for our next edition thank you